Now, now it looks like the guy's really pushing it. Look, look at this, look at this. Oh yeah! What? What? Wow, this guy, this guy has chops, look at that. Woo! I just wish I could see it. Oh, oh! <laughs> Very good rendition of Marimba Spiritual, so... Wow. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of... This studio, my name is Adam, and it's time for yet another very special episode of Let's Watch. Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Zero Gravity Percussion, Robert Utomo, Will Flinner, Bradley Crowley, Ryan Carlisle, Greg Harris, Arthur Lipner, Scott Rader, Doms, Dominic Chung, and Dean P. Newberger. Thank you so much for your continued support. And today's featured studio artist is Ryan Burke. Thank you so much for your continued support. And if you'd like to become a studio VIP or a studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash amtan or you can click over here. Welcome back to the show once again, I hope you've been well. And yes, it's time for another Let's Watch. If you're new to the show, Let's Watch is a segment where you can submit your favorite clips of percussion to the channel at adamtanpercussion.com forward slash submit. We've already received a whole bunch of amazing submissions ranging from marching percussion to chamber ensembles to solo marimba, all welcome on the show. So if you want to submit it, it's over there. But yes, the theme for today's Let's Watch is all about a particular piece that is very, very famous in the marimba repertoire. It is, of course, marimba spiritual. Marimba Spiritual is one of the most well-known pieces in the marimba repertory right now. It's considered a classic. It's been around since 1983. It was written by Minoru Miki and joins a long list of very famous Japanese works, including Tours 3, Mirage, a whole bunch of Keiko Abe music. All of that was written around the same time and it's some of the music that really defines the character of marimba solos today. And for all of you marching lovers out there, there was even a version by the Boston Crusaders in 2018, which was arranged for marching. Watching ensemble. We're going to start off with this version from Duality Percussion Duo, and this was submitted by Thor Arneson. And yes, it is the duo version of Marima Spiritual, and he said, he played this piece with William Minty on multi-percussion on a masterclass for Keiko Abe, just casually, <laughs> and would love to hear your feedback on it as we are planning to reunite the percussion duo. Torgir Arneson, man, that is such an awesome name. Like, his name is Thor, like. I'm surprised you actually knew who that was. But yes, here's the video. It says that it was recorded during Keiko Abe's public masterclass at RNCM which is the Royal Northern College of Music in Manchester in 2012. So just casually, they played this for Keiko Abe. So it must be very good. But yes, I'm really excited to see it. We can see the multi-percussion setup is there. And we've also got the Yamaha Marimba on the right hand side. This could not be any more legit. I also love that both of them are wearing the same color shirt. Uh, it's just small details like that that make duos look more cohesive, I think. Look at those rolls with four mallets. Here we go. very accurate. It's definitely very accurate. Okay, there's a couple of wrong notes there, but still, still quite accurate. Very together as well. Ah, oh, with the zoom in, here we go. <laughs> The guy on the marimba is very controlled. Here we go. Nice ha. Really guttural. Good dynamic contrast. No, no, no. 
no, 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 no. Okay, now he's starting to move. I still want more though, I still want more. Okay, now at this part they seem like to be getting more into it. Oh, yes. Dun, 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 dun. Well, that was a very manly hop. It was like, huh! It definitely seems like a very well prepared performance, but it just seems very uh, relaxed. <laughs> For example, if I was to cut the video in half and we just observe the top half of the player so far, they don't really seem to be moving very much. It's all in their hands and it sounds okay, but it doesn't look like it's full of character. Like Marima Spiritual is supposed to be full of energy and it's supposed to be like Aah! And it's kind of just like Aah. But yeah, we're now getting to the bit with the bass note, which is one of my favorite bits. The dun 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 dun. But anyway, back to the video. <laughs> Listen to that bottom D. Boom. 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 It does sound like he's using a soft mallet though, so it's not it's not cracky like some of the previous videos we've watched on this segment. It's like a nice sound. He is still hitting it pretty hard though. Guy on the multi percussion. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I love that bit too. Now, now it looks like the guy's really pushing it. Look, look at this, look at this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's much more like it. <laughs> that was awesome. Now this bit, look at the multi percussion guy. He's starting to really enjoy himself when he's not looking at the music. Yes. Yes. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, come on. Yes, yes. Woo! More, 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 more. Okay, now the guy on the multi is starting to, to get into it. Look at this, oh yeah. Nice laterals, look at that. Woo. Yeah, the guy on the multi is going for it now. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, my favorite part's coming out now. The glisses. The glisses are coming. Man, those ladders are clean. Very clean. Here we go. What? 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 Yeah! Come on. Woo! Okay, so that was actually not too bad. I actually thought it was very accurate for the most part. There was very few wrong notes, definitely. They've practiced a lot, especially the marimba soloist had a very 
good idea of his parts. He didn't use any sheet music, which is like much respect, definitely. And I understand that this is a public masterclass with Keiko Abe, so obviously there's like nerves, and usually in masterclasses, people don't play 100% because it's a class, it's not a concert. I would love to see these guys perform this again in a concert with more energy, more passion, more power. And I think they work together really, really well. They obviously respect each other very much. So that's really good to see. And yeah, I, I just love performances of Marimba Spiritual. So thank you so much for submitting that in. Duality Percussion Duo. I hope you guys get back together and play more stuff now that it's been six years since that video. So congratulations. <laughs> okay, so the second Marimba Spiritual submission that we're going to watch today is from Kian, Kian Su, and I actually know who Kian is because he came to Marimba Fest 2019 with his friend Arthur. And yes, this video is clearly about Marimba Spiritual because the comment says, Marimba Spiritual! Okay, so as you can see, this version of Marimba Spiritual is the normal solo version with three percussionists accompanying behind. And you can see they've acquired the right kind of drums. We've got these nice, large looking, I think these are more like Chinese drums instead of Japanese drums, but it's the same sort of sound character, that really deep, uh, East Asian sort of sound. The ones we watched before were from RNCM and that was university level. This is high school students. So I'm really excited to see this. Whoa, that lift. <laughs> the guy in the front is like, I'm getting deaf. <laughs> the drums definitely make a difference. You can hear it sounds thinner than the previous video. Oh, people are shaking their heads. Is it because it's too hard? <laughs> no. It might just be the recording. Also, that marimba is tiny. It's like a 4.6 or something. Oh yeah, get that roll. I can't actually see his playing because these guy's heads are in the way. <laughs> but it sounds pretty good so far quite accurate. I wish the guys in the background would look more active though, they don't really look that energetic. Oh yeah, that rim click though. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> okay, nice. I don't know whether it's the marimba or something, but I just can't really hear much. I think it may be the marimba. It's just so small, and it sounds like a small marimba. And I wish the guys in the background would have their stands lower, because you can't see they're playing at all. I can see Kian on the left hand side, because he's tall, but the other guys, I can't see they're playing at all. Has to be more energy. Here we go. Change mallets. Okay, these look like Momoko's mallets. <laughs> it's good, good move to change mallets because you can hear the bass doesn't sound harsh. And he's not banging it as much as the guy in the previous video was going like, Pow! this is definitely a lot more quiet. I like the contrast. These mallets actually sound more melodic and warm than his previous one. Why didn't he just use this from the start? Hmm. I kind of wish the guys in the background didn't have such finicky music. You can see that they're turning pages a lot and it means that they're not really focusing on it. Here's another one. Yeah. 
Yeah, the solos. <laughs> Arthur's just walked off stage. <laughs> but that's what you're supposed to do. Wow, this guy, this guy has chops, look at that. Woo! I just wish I could see it. Oh, oh! <laughs> stick drop, stick drop. Man. Wow, wow, these guys are going for it. Look at that. Why couldn't they play like this when, when Arthur was playing? Let's go, get the split. Oh, something kind of happened there. Oh, listen to their single stroke rolls. So clean. Look at Keanu on the left. Look at that single stroke roll. These are high school guys and they can play so clean. Look at that. Mm, the, the, scream, the screams need to be more guttural. They need to be like, huh! Oh, he's back. I do think these mallets are a little bit on the harsh side, but again, maybe it's the recording, maybe it's the marimba, I don't know. They just sound very thin. But that other is a good player, like the amount of control he has, and remember he's only 16 in this video, so he's yeah, he's he's pretty good. <laughs> I love the guy on the big drums. Boom! Oh, oh. Really good dynamic contrast. I feel like the energy now is much more than it was at the start. All of them look like they're more into it. Let's go, let's go. Whoa, look at the guy in the middle. Woo! Okay, my favorite bit's coming out again, the glisses. Man, Arthur is, is so good. <laughs> Here we go. That was a bit of an interesting ending, but still very good. Okay, let's just remember that those guys are high school students and that was a very, very good rendition of Marimba Spiritual. So, wow. A couple of things, firstly, just with the general layout of the ensemble, I feel like Kian on the left-hand side, I think that's Kian, he's really far away. Like he's super far away from the other two guys. There's a huge space in between. And then the other two guys are really close together. So maybe if they were all bunched together a bit closer, it would be a little bit more together. The other thing is, of course, the marimba's sound. I don't know if it's because the marimba is tiny that we're getting this kind of bright, tinky sort of sound, or if it's because of those mallets. I definitely think that Arthur was careful not to crack bars. So big pluses for that. But I think that it might just be the marimba being too small. As we all know, when you have gigs like this, you tend to have instruments that are not necessarily the high-end instruments and you kind of just got to work with it, which they did really well, so nice. Nice. In terms of Arthur's playing on the marimba, I love his big gestures. He did this a lot at Marimba Fest, like these really signature gestures where he would raise the mallets all the way up to his face. I really like that. It works really well for a piece like this because it feels that much more visceral. I also really enjoy the dynamic contrast. The bit with the low Ds, he made it really, really soft. He even changed mallets. So it's nice to see that he was exploring different textures and different shades of sound. That is a very advanced way of playing and I really like it. Now I did point out the guy at the front who was putting on his earplugs, but you could also notice a few of the other people in the audience were kind of holding their ears because 
it's quite loud. But I don't think it's the fact that it's loud. I think it's the fact that it's piercing that has something to do with those pink mallets on that little marimba. And I think this is a really good example of checking your venue before you pick the mallets. Like if you look at this venue, you'll see that the back has a lot of acoustic treatment, yes, but there is also one massive white bare wall on the right hand side where sound can easily refract off pretty harshly. And it also doesn't look like the audience is particularly large. It looks like there's maybe three or four rows of chairs. I could be wrong, maybe it's bigger. But even so, the fact that the marimba is literally right up in their face means you probably don't need to use such bright and articulate mallets because you don't need to project that far. So I always think if you're playing in a venue that you don't play on regularly or if you're playing on an instrument that is completely new to you or just something that is not the same as your normal practice or performance environment, it's always good to have another pair of ears in the audience to check if it sounds too harsh. And if you can't get someone to listen to you, then think about it from a practical standpoint. What are the mallets that you normally use in your normal room? How big is your normal room compared to this one? If this room is smaller than your normal room, then of course you shouldn't use such hard mallets. If you're gonna be playing with an orchestra behind you and they're going to be pumping out the sound then of course you need something brighter to go over them but yes this was a really good performance by arthur and kian thank you so much for submitting the video and i really enjoyed all of the submissions today so if you want to see them they're in the description below if you have any comments about today's video please leave them down in the comment section below i'd love to hear what you think about what was seen in today's episode thank you so much for all of the submissions that have been sent into the let's watch segment i really appreciate it so much and we're going to be watching more of this stuff together so if you're enjoying the content please hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads because we upload new episodes episodes every single week and I really enjoy making these videos for you guys and I hope you enjoy them also. Thank you so much for watching today's episode and I'll see you guys next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night! <laughs>